Howdy, y'all. I am Adam, the Renaissance Nerd. I've been covering the Halo TV show on Paramount Plus since before it aired. I warned everybody. I said there were red flags. I was attacked for it, as I usually am, by stands and SJWs when I call out the SJW bullshit when I see it. And, I, and they don't like that because they don't want the, the, the sunlight of truth shining down on their dreck. I'm not the only one. Lots of people, bigger channels, more visible channels are raining down the roast, raining down the hate parade on this horrible show. And it's a horrible show. It's a disaster. It's an abomination. Insert description of how bad it is. It will fit like the perfect key. It's a terrible show. Filled with SJW woke intersectional virtue signaling identitarian politics agenda. All in there. All de deconstructing a true hero, Master Chief John 117 from the video games where he was just a complete and utter badass who killed aliens. That, that, it was a simple formula. That's all you had to do. But they didn't want to do that. They didn't want to do that. They just wanted to create their silver timeline where they could do whatever they want and prove that they can do it better than the games and the original creators of Halo. And I say that for a reason. It was brought to my attention today as I was surfing the shill articles. Even the shills are calling out this moment here where a thread on Twitter started by Mike at Hungry Bear Basically, shouting the, the, the praise for, I guess, this is another YouTube channel, Late Night Gaming, who are, who are also calling out the show for what it is, like I am. Your disease, and I'm the cure. But what happened here is, in the end of the thread here, Mike at Hungry Bear said, That's my issue. It's not Halo, for, Halo to me. There's some things to add, but then there's things that are too much. It takes the brand and strays it away from the heart of the series game. Imagine what at Game Fabricator thinks. Lol. Now, who's that game fabricator? Well, apparently, it's one of the original creators of Halo. One of the original creators of Halo. Marcus Leto. See, I don't know who he is because I'm, I'm not a Halo guy. Not hardcore. Again, my history with Halo, I played the first game. I liked it. I played it a bunch. Could beat it on its hardest difficulty level. And then I played a little bit of 2 at a friend's house. And then I moved on to being solely a PlayStation guy and an Xbox guy. So I didn't continue with the franchise. But I respected it. It's one of the greatest first-person shooters of all time. Creating one of the most iconic characters of all time. And Marcus Leto is one of the original creators. So he replied, Yeah, I'm not sure where the inspiration for the show comes from now. Not the Halo I made. That's right. One of the original creators has now said, This show is not Halo. And a lot of people know it's not Halo because last time we checked in on Rotten Tomatoes, I trust Rotten Tomatoes about as far as I can throw it. Still, it is one of the lone, one of the few indicators we can use. Last time we were there, it was at 57, 56%. That was about last, I did a good video on that like four or five weeks ago. We could go back and check. Oh no. Oh no. Down to 52% and dropping and dropping. Oh, ho, ho. now here's something interesting. You read these audience scores and the people who are the most angry will give it the half star to two stars and they'll tell you why from a true fan's per perception. But there are ones in here who you can tell. Uh, people are asking, who are they making this for? Who are these silver timeline goobers who have made this Halo TV show, who are they making it for? Not for you, not for me, not for actual people who enjoy watching the Master Chief kick alien ass. So here are some normal responses of people who are disgusted with it. Michael D. Cringe at best, no character arcs, annoying characters. Master Chief is not what this show has chosen to display. None of the main directors or writers knew the original Halo plot. Very sad. That is true. They never played the games, never read a book. Uh, Dylan G. Standalone, the show holds almost no value. Even without looking at the source material, keyword, this show almost never truly progresses. Halo, Halo TV show spends its entire first season talking 
and walking and talking and walking and sitting and talking and sharing that could have been wrapped up in one episode. For an action sci-fi series, Halo has little action and no real protagonist. In conclusion, why did they make the show if not to follow source material? Why make an action sci-fi show with almost no action? Because it's not about respecting this show or this lore in the franchise and games. It's about putting out another agenda uh, vehicle for SJW woke propaganda. Now, here's where we go. Let's skip right down to this one here. I spotted this one. A whammon. I think, Robin E. This is who they want the backpats from. Listen to the way this person speaks in this barf of word salad. And it's word salad thrown in with with some nice Marxist leftist ideology sprinkled in there to to reveal who they really are. Five-star rating. To the lore needs, whom I know exists, I... I guess they meant nerds. We'll say the lore and nerds who I know exist in small factions of the haters of the show. Small factions. 50 over almost half of everybody who's rated this show hate it. And it's probably more. It's probably more. Because we know that uh, Rotten Tomatoes will, will, will delete things. I, I've shown evidence that they delete things. Get over it. Oh, that's a standard SJW stand response. Get over it. We have it now. Go away. The original lore, much like the lore of 40K. Oh, don't you don't pick a fight with 40K lore nerds. They will destroy you. I'm an old school Warhammer fantasy guy. And the the 40K lore is even bigger and, and more have bigger devotees. You don't mess with those nerds. They will destroy you. The original lore was essentially just what extremes we would we have to push the universe to make that fascist, that god guys. Oh, reality inversion. Isn't that fun? The lore of the show is so much better to the other proto-fascists who are upset at the show being too political or having political casting. The original games and books are political too. You just don't see it because you've been fed the same political perspective your entire life. So any deviation is perceived as an aberration. Oh, I once received a comment in a video last year when we were still trying to build the channel when I went at Marxist, communist, fascist rhetoric in my usual fashion. And one person said to me, you've been lied to. You need to study more on what Marxism really has to say. I can help you. Ah! Ah! Does this sound, this is beautiful Marxist indoctrination speech. You've been lied to. I'm going to show you the truth in this show with all its propaganda, agenda, and dogma is showing you the truth. This is just a different political lens and it's way better. It's better. We're gonna. She's gonna. She's gonna tip her hand in a moment. If you just like the political of the show, but not the game, then it says way more about the effed up views you are willing to entertain than the quality of the writing or ethics of the writers of the show. <laughs> to my fellows, to my fellow travelers, to my fellow travelers. That's what she's saying. To my fellow travelers who looked at this and thought, I know what this is. It's just going to be another U.S. military in space. But yes, imperialism. And yes, fascism. You are the fascist. Your writing reveals it. You're the one who wants us to be forced to your way of thinking. They don't understand the words they use. They reality inversion trying to throw it on us. You are so, so wrong. Watch this so if you want a good anti-fascist. Possibly anti-capitalist if they stick the landing story. Behold, she tips her hand. Kami, pinko kami bitch. It's good, it's subversive in surprising ways. They definitely didn't take the Pentagon money. You won't be disappointed. This is exactly who. The writers, the directors of this show, the showrunners, this is who they made it for. Their fellow travelers, their fellow actual Marxist, 
fascists who will decry you if you have a moment of free thought. If you dare to shout down something is bad. This is why they don't want me and everybody else reviewing this show and showing you how much full of propaganda crap it is. Because they want it to be slipped in silently and quietly indoctrinate and blindside people who are not aware. But when I make a review, when Shadowversity makes a review, when Disparu makes a review, when all the other bigger channels make reviews and goes up to, up the food chain, show, shine a light on how horrible the show is, they, they hate it. Because we reveal how bad it is. And then people won't watch it because they'll hear how bad it is. And then the message, the narrative won't get through. This is who they're making it for. They're fellow travelers. This show is nothing but propaganda, SJW woke crap, and it shows right here. It shows when the create one of the creators of the game says, this show is not what I made. Not the Halo I made. That's all you need to know. If you don't watch my reviews, that's all you need to know. One of the original creators of Halo does not like the game. I'm sorry, this movie, the show. Yeah. The. <laughs> and almost half the audience doesn't like it. I suspect it's even lower. I do. Halo was crap. Two days. I review the season finale. And take a deep breath before I move on to even worse shows. <laughs> oh, it doesn't stop. But we will cover it so that everybody knows this stuff is crap. That's my job. It's everybody's job who's out here. We can't pretend it doesn't exist. They want us to pretend it doesn't exist. And that's why we have to keep doing this. Shining the light on terrible television filled with narrative and propaganda meant to subvert society to Marxist, leftist fascism. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube, where I'm here to earn your trust and support using facts and logic, because facts and logic don't care about fifis. Hit that notification button. Share the video around if you like what I'm preaching. By all means, leave a real comment. I love to hear from actual normal people. Even if you disagree with me, that's just fine, because normal people can find common ground. Because we are not stands and SJWs who are insane and cowards behind keyboards. I don't care what they think. I will never care what they think. And if we ignore them, they will lose their fabricated power and fade away. Thank you again for watching this video. Take it easy. Howdy, y'all. The first chapter of my fantasy novel, Guardian of Innocence, is now available for free. Click the link in the description below and join me in an old school good versus evil story where Cole Larrys, a disillusioned mercenary, suddenly finds himself dropped into the middle of a destiny he never asked for as the protector of Jania Sarai, a blacksmith's daughter who may hold the answers to finally stopping a millennia old threat to the world of Rosetta. Cole's perceptions of love, family, trust, loyalty, as well as his very beliefs in fate versus free will shall be tested as he struggles to keep Jania safe from the minions of the dreaded Zaboratal, former champion of the gods and now ruler of the long-forgotten Yis Empire. Click the link below, enjoy the first chapter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and help it grow so that I can bring you the full story in the near future. Thank you, and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to get in touch with me, you can reach out to me at therennerd at gmail.com. That emails for channel business only so i check it on a daily basis also you can find me at the geeks and gamers forums under at roas and you can find me at rumble and odyssey the renaissance nerd thank you again see you next time